Baby. Hello everyone. So I have found that one of the biggest things that deters people from taking weekend getaways or camping trips and going out and exploring is the fact that they don't want to go without a shower. Well, there is a solution to this giant problem. So I have tried pretty much everything for showering. I've taken ghetto showers with just baby wipes. I've stopped at gyms, truck stops, blah, blah, blah. They're all great, but I kind of got tired of going out of my way to take a shower. So I decided to just build my own. And it is amazing, it's wonderful, it's perfect, and it is super convenient. So in order to make the shower, I didn't necessarily come up with this all on my own. I watched a couple of other people's YouTube videos and I was picking and choosing what I liked about all of them and then I just put something together in order to make something that would work for me. So just keep in mind that this video is geared towards people like me, which are people who need every single like baby step listed out because there were some things when I did this that I had to figure out. I would watch the video and be like, what? Like, what did he just do? And he would skip steps and I mean, it was basically nothing, but to me, it was the world. So if for any reason you want to know exactly what these items are, I'm going to post the actual item numbers. Everything is from Home Depot, so I'll post the item numbers and the prices in the description box down below in case you want to build your own or just want to know exactly what parts I used. All right, so let's jump right in and start with the materials needed to make this heavenly object. First off, you're going to need a weed sprayer. There are multiple varieties, and I went with the two gallon Roundup one. It comes with everything you see here, but you are only going to need the actual container and the hose. Second, you are going to need a kitchen sink spray nozzle. Third, a kitchen sink spray hose. And fourth, a brass hose adapter that is a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. And this will make it all come seamlessly together. Okay, so for step one, you're going to connect the sink spray nozzle to the hose with these two pieces right here. You're gonna take this black plastic piece and just slide it on over the white part of the hose. Then go ahead and take the metal piece and push that on there until it is nice and snug and looks like so. Now that you've got that squared away, go ahead and take this black rubber piece that came with the sink nozzle and place that on top of everything you've just assembled. Go ahead and attach the nozzle and you are done with step one. For step two, all you're gonna do is get a pair of scissors and the nozzle that came with your weed sprayer and simply cut that handle off because we are not gonna use it at all. Now you're going to take your adapter and insert the barbed end in the place where you just cut off that nozzle that came with the weed sprayer. At this point, you have two individual pieces that look like this, and you are simply now going to connect them. For the last step of assembly, take the end of your hose that is not connected to anything yet, insert it into your weed sprayer, twist it on, and voila! you have a shower. For comfort purposes, I'll typically fill up my shower with two thirds room temperature water and then one third boiling water. Together, they make the perfect combination. Then simply twist on the lid, give it a few pumps, and you are ready for a warm, pressurized shower. It's short people tested and it's tall people tested. And the best part is, it wasn't even expensive. I managed to buy all the supplies in this video, plus some Reese's Minis and a Fanta, including tax, for just $48.31. It is hands down my numero uno favorite thing to take with me on adventures because I can shower anywhere I want. So I never have to worry about that, like, oh my god, I'm not going to shower for five days kind of feeling again. 